it is now time to set up your PA2100 for printing via the USB cable. Plug your USB cable into the printer. Plug the other end into your Mac computer. Type in this website location, https colon forward slash forward slash kiosera.info. This will take you to the download center. Here, you should select your country or region. In our example, we're using USA. In the Refine the Product area, type in PA2100. Now click on the Ecosys PA2100 CWX. Select your operating system from the list. In this example, we're using Mac OS X 10.9 or later. Scroll down and find the Mac printer driver 10.9 and up. Click on the blue download button as shown. A license agreement will appear. Scroll to the bottom and select the Agree to Contract and Download blue button. Open the downloaded zip file. A Kyocera OS X 10.9 Plus file ending in DMG will appear. Double click on the file. You have three options to use Kyocera OS X 10.9 plus the web build package, Mac driver setup guide, or an uninstaller guide. Double click on the first option. Click continue. Click continue again. Click continue one more time. Click on agree to continue installing the software. Next, click on install. If a password is asked for, do so. The software will begin to install. This may take a few minutes, so please be patient. When the install is completed, a green check mark will appear. Click on close. You can keep the install file or move it to the trash. Go to System Preferences, Printers and Scanners. Press the plus key. In the Add Printer window, look for Kyocera Ecosys PA2100 CWX with the kind defined as USB. Highlight it. The name should be Kyocera Ecosys PA2100 CWX. The location is the name of the Mac computer. You can change this to whatever you like. Assure under Use that the Kyocera Ecosys PA2100 CWX is shown. Press on Add. The printer will now appear as active. You can make your newly installed Kyocera printer your default printer, meaning any print job from this computer will automatically print to your Kyocera printer. You can also select sharing preferences as needed by clicking on this box. Select the default paper size you will be using. In most cases, you'll be using US letter. Press the red close button here. You've now installed your Kyocera PA2100 CWX printer for USB.